In today's video, I share some memorable anecdotes about life with my golden doodle, Sophie. Some real life scenarios that I think many of you with golden doodles will relate to. I ask what is that special thing about doodle dogs that melts our hearts, fills up the memory card on our cameras and even breaks down the barriers between strangers. And just what is a next level golden doodle? Hi and welcome to my Golden Doodle Diary, the channel all about golden doodles, groodles, doodle dogs, as represented by Sophie and her friends. Consider subscribing if you like this kind of doggy chat, it makes a big difference. And if you like, do leave us a thumbs up. So one time when Sophie was still a puppy, I was with her at a cafe. Naturally, a cute golden doodle puppy draws attention and a woman came up to pat her. Then an old man approached our table and said emphatically to us, do you know what's wrong with these kinds of dogs? I've got to say we were a bit startled because he was quite intense and he repeated, do you know what's wrong with these kinds of dogs? So I answered, okay, what is wrong with them? And he said, they are next level, next level. Then he told us his daughter has a golden doodle dog and that he looked after it when she was away. He was completely taken with how this dog connected with him. He said he never realized a dog could even be like this. And that's despite him having had dogs before. This one, hands down, stole his heart and now for him, no other dogs compare. Then he showed us photos of that dog on the phone because he wanted to convey to us just how special it was to him, like a precious grandchild. Such a story about how a dog can inspire a real openness of heart in people is definitely not a one-off in my experience. In another instance, when I was at a farmer's market, a lady rushed over from the other side of the field to meet Sophie. She told me excitedly about her friend's golden doodle, how amazing it is. Like the old man, she showed me a whole lot of photos on her phone. My point here is that like the old man at the cafe, it wasn't even her own dog and she was still obviously filled with joy to know it. And by the way, I love it when things like this happen, partly because I am obviously a bit obsessed about dogs and love meeting them and hearing the stories and seeing the photos. And partly because I love being in the presence of people whose eyes are shining with joy as they are talking about their dogs or just lighting up from getting to know Sophie. I mean, moments ago they were complete strangers and because I have Sophie with me, there is no ice to break, no barriers to people coming up and being at their shiniest best. Do you see where I'm coming from? Now a little side note here, do only doodle dogs have that special ability to reach into people's hearts? Of course not. People connect in beautiful and profound ways with dogs of all breeds and actually animals of all kinds. Before we got Sophie, Simon and I befriended wild magpies. We actually fed them from our hands and they'd sing to us. This happened even during nesting season when they'd normally swoop at people. I mean, gaining the trust and friendship of these wild animals was a powerful encounter in itself. But seeing as the animal in my life now happens to be a golden doodle, I'm sharing with you my observations of what having one of these very people oriented dogs has been like because there is a particular comedic type of animal love that goes with doodle dogs. And if you're someone who's got one of these new human dogs somewhere in your life, you'll know what I mean. Okay, here's another story. I was walking Sophie in a park and saw a group of about 15 people all dressed up for a special occasion, like they were about to go to a wedding. They were in deep conversation with one another and they had a white curly golden doodle dog with them. As I passed with Sophie, it's like the sea parted open and everyone turned their attention to us and was delighted to see another dog similar to their dog, whose name is Teddy. They asked me questions about Sophie and we all watched smiling as Sophie and Teddy play wrestle like two plush toys. Again, there was no ice to break between strangers. The feeling was that Teddy was their precious family member and given I have a dog just like him, it's taken as a given that I understand their love for their dog. I just can't tell you what a delight such encounters are. 
Honestly, people just forget themselves and take on that doodle dog ability to know no strangers. So yeah, make no mistake about it. Our dudes have us in training to be open and friendly to other people. Goodness knows they demonstrate enough times just how it's done, so that eventually we need to get with their program. Let me tell you that before I got Sophie, I'd keep to myself, but having a golden doodle by my side, there's rarely a time that I don't chat with people or exchange smiles as we're walking around. And just through habit, I find myself more open and smiling towards others, even when I don't have my dog there with me. I'd say Sophie's pretty pleased with how she trained me. You've got to ask who really owns who. Let me know in the comments if that's happened to you too. Another interesting thing I've heard from several people is that before getting a Golden Doodle, they were actually scared of dogs, especially the bigger dogs. But Golden Doodles are quite disarming with their sweet natures, big personalities and those plush toy looks. They're like one part dog, one part human and one part teddy bear. One woman in particular resisted having a dog for years, having been scared of them since she was a child. She's a mother of three children and her husband eventually convinced her to get a Golden Doodle to join the family. She said to me that, to her surprise, the affection she has for her dog is somewhere on par with the love she has for her children. Now guys, I know that if you stand in a group of people and their rescue greyhounds, or a group of people and their French bulldogs, or actually a group of any people with their dogs, of course the vibe is going to be really great too. I guess my takeout with these stories is about recognizing what these precious animals can bring to our lives in their own unique ways. Because for some reason they think we are absolutely awesome and perhaps it takes their reaction to us to help us recognize this in our own selves and amongst ourselves. And if it is a golden doodle that's creating this for you in your life, then just perhaps you get to experience some of that next level magic for yourself. Just saying. Thanks for watching.